You know, we always talk about, here on the show, we always talk about crazy Uncle Ned. And um, if you're in a 1970s home with rigid duct, we stamped those ducts together with seams on the, on the, uh, the, the metal edges of the ductwork. And Uncle Ned went up in the roof and climbed over the soffit to install sound around speakers in your living room. His knee went through one of those ductworks, and that's one of the that that's just one illustration of how you can lose the integrity of your ductwork. Not to mention any of the rampant flex duct issues that have uh, become a problem since flex duct became the primary duct <coughs> system we were installing. We we had to learn a lot about how to properly install flex duct when we were getting into that in the late 80s and 90s. So, Well, the 80s and 90s flex duct was a really bad product. It, it was. deteriorated. It didn't move very well. Uh, it gave flex duct a very bad name. Um, we install rigid and flex duct on different applications. And, and I mean, I have all flex duct in my house. Yeah. And I have never heard my air conditioning turn on. I've never had an imbalanced room where one room's colders are warmer than the other. Uh, so it, it, it's just about proper design and proper insulation. And it is. And it, and it takes the whole system designed as one operating unit. It's kind of what makes it tough for you guys when you're coming in replacing an air conditioning system with an existing duct system. How often are you talking to the client about, we really need to think about duct modification here? Uh, almost every time. Almost every time. Yeah. 